So in the previous episode, we had to ask ourselves a difficult question. Do we stay at NIU where we were born and bred and developed? Or do we go about chasing our wildest college football dreams and go play for the University of Notre Dame in our final year on the field? And, you know, it took a lot of thinking. It took a lot of thought. But I did end up going into the transfer portal and join the Notre Dame Fighting Irish. And not only uh, do we end up transferring over to Notre Dame, but we end up going ahead and being the starter for this Notre Dame squad as I'm really excited to see what this senior year has in store for us. They've been on some hard times recently. You know, they had difficult schedules to work through and, you know, we're going to start this season unranked. So hopefully we can come out and prove some people wrong. But before this season even begins to start out, we end up hurting our ankle. We end up suffering a stress fracture during summer ball. And that injury really takes us back because not only do we miss the first game of the season that home opener we actually end up missing the first four games of the season granted we did okay going three and one but it definitely hurts to miss four games in our college career but in the fifth game of the season we were finally clear to play college football and we end up making our season debut on the road against purdue boy wakers and while they are still our rivals they have not won a single game yet this season so you know we want to come out here play a really good game so that we don't allow to purdue boilermakers to get their first win of the season against us because even though we're not ranked at the moment if they were to beat us i would not be shocked if they ended up storming the field against us just because how much of a poverty school purdue has been at least within our series right so we got our first tackle early on in the game uh didn't take very long to do that but we're just a tad late and zion step toe just getting the 10 toes down movement get a big completion against us which i really did not like to see at all and they're almost going to punch their way into the end zone here already as a couple of plays later Rudinger is going to try to stop this pitch to the outside, but we were blocked and nothing that we could do about it. Morris Dobbs, he's going to find his way into the end zone, and it's going to be a touchdown for Purdue that will allow them to tie it for a little bit. As a matter of fact, they have a chance to take the lead, actually, as they're going to look to throw over to the right-hand side, and this is intercepted. Brandon Moore is going to pick that ball off. Let's go, baby. Just putting our guys on an island and they were holding, holding up extremely well leading up to the final play of the first quarter trying to make the tackle on Thomas Leak uh, but Steve Leak is actually going to be able to get away from us temporarily and it actually is a pretty competitive first quarter right now as the game is still tied up at seven could still go in either direction as we try to stop Allen from getting a big play downfield we do as Morrison He's going to get his second interception of the game. He's been having an absolutely electric first half for the Notre Dame secondary. We'll see if our offense can take advantage of that, and they actually do. So we will find ourselves in the lead once again as they go ahead, run the halfback screenplay. We force Steve Leak out of bounds. But, you know, I had to play disciplined with that man-to-man -man coverage. Couldn't uh, switch back till it was too late. As they're going to try a big play downfield. And we at least made it a more difficult play. They could not complete that pass, thankfully. So, Purdue able to get a field goal off of it instead of something more than that. Getting a touchdown. But Purdue only down by four here as uh, we actually switched on to the wrong person. We're over on the left-hand side, and we had to watch hopelessly as Zion Steptoe. He's going to take the cover off the defense, and Brady Allen is going to throw his first touchdown pass of the game. And more importantly, they're actually going to take the lead against us, so Purdue making this a lot more challenging of a game than what I anticipated. Although we do blow up Dons in the backfield right before the end of the first half. So 
Rudy actually does get his first TFL of the season off of that. As now we go into the second half as we do see Purdue just take a minute to uh, get things going here to start the second half as our team uh, did uh, not defer to the second half. So Purdue starts with the football as we jump later into the third quarters. Colt Stovall is able to avert away from us for a little bit, able to pick up a 13-yard gain. That's got a first and 10 coming up. Allen dropping back in and out to Claire out in the flat. And that tight end, probably a full foot bigger than us. Probably at least 50 pounds too. But we still brought him down anyways. It just goes to show that Rudy Rudiger, well, he is a guy that is not going down without a fight. As now, late, later in the third quarter, Allen going to hand it off to Dodds. And we get Dodds before he can get more steam. Only a one-yard gain on that. That's Rudy's fifth tackle of the game. But later on, first and goal, trying to bring down Allen. And we got him. We're not letting you get in his end zone, big fella. You're going to have to try a little bit harder than that. So let's see if they do something different on this second and goal. Rudinger. Going to look at Stovall, and Stovall's getting in. Purdue is going to take the lead yet again. To Purdue Boilermakers with a 24-21 lead. Thankfully, our offense does get a touchdown, so we do have the lead yet again as we continue to have to come up and, you know, play a lot of roads run support, which, you know, something that we do a little bit more of back than when we were at Northern Illinois. Because Northern Illinois, they ran a 4-2-5 scheme. A little bit different when Notre Dame runs. They run a 4-3 defense. As less than five minutes left to go in the game. Have a chance to close things out in our first game. Wearing that Notre Dame uniform. Got to stop him on this drive though. First and 10. Looks over the middle of the field. We bring down Whitfield quickly. But he does haul in the reception still makes it a manageable second down as on the very next play though Allen's gonna drop back he's gonna look over the middle of the field and I thought we had good depth on that but Joel Gonzalez throws it over catches it over our hand man leads to a goal line situation as we're trying to keep him out of the end zone and we fail we fail to keep him out of the end zone and Purdue takes the lead with three minutes left to go in the ball game but again the Notre Dame offense responds our offense is trying to make sure that we don't lose this game we have to redeem ourselves on the defensive end didn't really play that last drive very well at all as we have a beat on this ball but it doesn't you gotta be kidding me bro it does not trigger the interception animation are you joking me right now that should have been an interception but instead, less than 30 seconds left to go. We get Gonzalez from getting into the end zone. But they're inside the five-yard line. No surprises here. They're going no huddle. Let's we'll see if we can keep them out. First and goal. Rudinger is going to be set on a blitz. Looking for Allen. He almost gets to this quarterback. But instead, he does uh, at least get an incompletion. But we need to hold him for three more plays. That's how much is left in this game. As Allen trying to run it in. And we can't get there fast enough. We had the beat on Brady Allen. But Allen was a little bit too mobile for us. And now our offense has to bail us out. One more time. Final play of the game. Going to be a big pass downfield. Looking for the Hail Mary. And it's going to fall to the ground harmlessly. Oh, we let the offense down. This one, this one is 100% absolutely on us. And we put up stats. Don't get me wrong. We definitely put up stats in this game. 11 solo tackles, a TFL. But, I mean, we gave up 38 points. And part of it is my fault. So we have another game in this episode, though, before we do get to the halfway point of Rudy's senior year already we are back at home so first home game at least in the Notre Dame jersey as we get a look at Marcus Freeman the head coach of the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and we are hosting the Sun Devils of Arizona State who are still there in the Pac-12 or 
uh, I would they might need to change their name back to the Pac-10 with you know USC and UCLA they did end up uh, leaving in this universe they are of course in the Big Ten but Ferdinand Long though Romero trying to get him downed and then although we missed him we do get him off the field anyways We'll see if Rudinger can line up some plays a little bit better as midway through that first quarter of action. And, you know, again, another kind of tight game for the moment. Already halfway through this first quarter. Uh, don't want to make it two losses in the same episode. That would not be a good thing at all. But Arizona State will at least not be scoring on this drive, though, as they will be forced to punt this football away. As one of the last plays of the first quarter, though, we're tracking Alford. We're going to try to bring him down in the backfield. And while we don't get the TFL, we make a great play in the open field, though. And we carry a 14 to nothing lead into the second quarter. We're in that second quarter. Robinson trying to go scramble. I wanted to line him up like a Christmas tree, but John Robinson actually carries us out of bounds. I'm a little bit... Uh, embarrassed that you know we got stiff on like that by a quarterback of all people but it's certainly not an uncommon appearance for those of you that have been playing this NCAA 14 game for a while as Robinson wants to scramble yet again to pick up the first down and we do help bring him down but this time John Robinson we well, gets absolutely lit up like a Christmas tree there and it leads to a third and long. Just trying to make sure that we can keep him off the field. Newell almost picking up the first down, though. Cutting back into our zone. And they will go for it here on fourth down. And Romero is going to punch it in for the Arizona State Sun Devils. And just like that, we are looking at a one-score game yet again. And our offense couldn't score on the next possession. So, if we're not careful, Arizona State can tie this game on us. But, you know, Rudy's playing at a pretty high level in terms of playing that run support well. Because we're able to bring him down in the backfield. And then in the zone coverage a few plays later. Looking to take that pass away. And Robinson! Well, we give him everything we can handle. I mean, look at this hit that we lay on this quarterback. I had to check the replay real fast. To make sure it was me. And sure enough, it actually was me, man. Great hit by yours truly. And we'll take a 21-7 lead into the half. We'll see if we can keep that high level of play going. As we already got five tackles in this game. We'll see if this is number six. And yes, it is. We bring Marvin Romero down for a minimal game. As now, late in the third quarter, Robinson dropping back. Trying to take that route away. Can we get there in time? We can't. Not even my zone, but we almost got that pass intercepted anyways. Just a step too slow. And even though Rudy is not the most athletic athlete, man, he's making some plays on the field. Speaking of guys making plays, we got a true freshman starting in our linebacking core, Marcus Craig. Well, he's going to do us a big favor. He's going to recover this fumble for us. And we just started to run away with this game after that. 35-7 to being your score. You know, if only we were playing at this kind of level in the last game. You know, I, I really wanted to beat Purdue, but I'll settle with blowing out Arizona State. I'm I'm here for it. We get a 42-7 win. That will bring our record up to 4-2. and two. And Rudy, you know, Rudy was all over the field and making a lot of plays, even though a lot of the fourth quarter he did end up sitting out. He ended up with seven solo tackles and two assisted tackles during the course of the game. But in the midst of our dream season where we get to live out our college football dream, we're already halfway done the year and the team is 4-2 and two, and at least on track to go to a pretty solid bowl game since we are the University of Notre Dame. Even though we did lose a close one to Purdue and this is a bad loss considering we're their only win that they had, I thought we went back and we bounce back really nicely, beating Arizona State by five scores. So next episode, we will continue through our senior season as we'll take on Georgia Tech and what's going to be a nationally televised game. Then we'll host USC. That's a huge rivalry game for us. And also take on Navy, which is another rivalry game as well. And then we'll take a look at what's to come down the line 
towards the end of the year so should be an exciting episode we'll have three games in the next episode that hope you guys are excited for if you are make sure you go ahead smack that like button hit that subscribe button as well if you do happen to be brand new to the channel this is john jay gaming on the mic signing off hoping you guys are all out there having a good one take care everybody